Welcome to Didi Dye's Crafty Corner. My name is Diane and I'm so happy you stopped by today. Today we're going to play with this cute little stamp set from Lawn Fawn called Merry Mice. Now this is a smaller stamp set so it has a great price point and it's just super cute. So today I'm going to be coloring um, a lot of the images on this stamp set but only one of them on film. So I'm going to be coloring the Christmas tree and I know you guys like to see the coloring but it takes me a while to color so I'm just going to do this one image and then you should be good to go. I'm using the Gina K Designs black ink for this it's great for Copic coloring um, sometimes you just have to give it a minute you know a few seconds to dry don't go right in it I did today but don't normally do that because it can smear sometimes if you don't give it a second to dry. So I'm using a um, just a stamp block and I'm stamping it down and then I'm going to color with the Copic um, G markers. I think um, I think and I can't see when I do, I'm when I do voiceovers, but I believe it's G61, G63, G67. And normally you'll see I start flicking. <laughs> That's common for me to do. Also, I'm a little stuffy today, guys. We had a cold front move in here in South Florida. And um, uh, with that, all the pollen from my neighbor's tree, I don't even know what kind of tree it is, but it drops all the big, thick, yellow pollen all over the ground. And um, it gets me every time. So I'm having horrible allergic things going on right now today. So I sound stuffy. I apologize. But I automatically start off with a flicking motion because that's normally how I do my coloring. At some point, I, I switch it up and just color it because I realize I don't really want flicking. I wanted it to be smooth. So I started with my lightest color. And then for this image, I'm just going to color it um, so that it's a little darker on the top. Uh, and then also underneath each of those little scallops, which are the branches, you know, because that would be darker. And that's going to add dimension to this tree. So I'm going to be using three colors, and I start with the light. I'm working on the medium right now, and then I'll go right into my darkest color that I'll be using, and I will hit that on the top, and then right underneath, and just, you know, just kind of put it where I think it needs to go. Um, I didn't want the tree to be super dark. I wanted to keep it a little bright. I was trying to match the paper, um, the Lawn Fawn back, the Lawn Fawn cardstock that I was going to pull in to tie it all together. So those, that's why I chose those colors. So when I get done doing this dark color, the darkest color, which I believe is YG67, um, I'm going to go back with my middle color and then back to my lightest color and when i get to that lightest color i'm going to blend over um, the whole bottom and into the middle section just to lighten everything up a little bit you don't have to do that because it will bleed out the, the color a little bit but i like it that way so that's the way i do it so as we make this as i do this voiceover today i made the card this morning i'm sitting in the pickup line at Pukachu and the princess's school. So the princess is in kindergarten this year. She did not get to do pre-K. They weren't doing it online and there was no in-school learning for that um, last year. So um, she's doing kindergarten and Christian um, aka Pukachu is in second grade and he's um, he's he's struggling a little bit this year. Um, you know, being back in person and all of that, it's, you know, I think we all are, right? It's, it's hard to go back into the public and do things again. I, I ventured out recently to do some shopping um, in a grocery store and I've been doing um, pickup where you, in our area, you can drive up and pick it up. Somebody puts it in your trunk. So um, I've been doing that all the way through the pandemic for the last two years okay so for the tree trunk i'm using um e35 37 and 39 you could really get away with this and do just the um one color and use that one color over and over again on one side to give it more um, depth if you wanted to it's such a small image you could do that with all these images they're so small really 
but those are the three colors that I chose to do. And so anyway, the, the kids are in school, so I'm in the pickup line. So I thought maybe I'll just start bringing, um, I'll do a, a card and I'll just bring it with me and um, work on it or maybe do the voiceover or something. So today I'm doing the voiceover. And we had this cold front move in, so I don't have my car turned on. It's just a really nice breeze and, and everything out here because we had this little cold front and it's like 77 degrees right now outside where it's normally almost 90. So that feels nice. This morning it was 66, I was chilly. All right, so I've colored all the other images now, as you can see. And I'm gonna be using the um, remix, what is this called, Snow Day Remix. And I'm also going to be using the Perfectly Plaid Christmas. So this piece right here, um, we're going to be using a top folding A2 card, cut five and a half by four and a quarter. This piece, I, I believe it's three and a quarter by four and a quarter, I believe. And I'm going to be pairing it with the Perfectly Plaid piece that I've cut out to be the rug in our scene. So our little scene is going to be the wall in the background, which is the white paper with the little spots on it, and um, the plaid paper, which is going to be our rug. And then I'm going to frame it up, but to add a little more focal, to add a little more pop so the scene doesn't look lonely, I'm going to go ahead and add a layering card piece behind there. So I chose that green to go kind of with the papers that I chose and the color that I chose for the tree. So as I add this next layering piece, which is the Snow Day Remix, one of their pieces, I'm adding it um, centered side by side, but up higher because I'm gonna be adding a sentiment on the bottom as well as underneath our little scene. So my idea was to make this little carpet area, um, which I used by using a, uh, half circle die. And then I originally thought I would use a white frame. The frames are from Gina Marie um, Designs. It's it's her frame, scallop frames. But then I'm like, oh, I think it just gets lost. It really doesn't do anything for the card for it to be white. So I pulled out a piece of Lawn Fawn red cardstock and cut that. And then I'm putting that down on top of that. And already it pops. The entire card pops already. So we've got our white background, we've got our green um, layer, and then we have our scene, which is also layered with a scallop frame, okay? So now I'm tying in, I, I didn't, don't think I showed you, but I stamped out two image, or two sentiments. Um, I don't remember what the black one says, and I can't read it from my phone, which is where I'm doing the voiceover, but I did the one in black VersaFine ink and clear embossing, and then the other one, the Marianne Bright, which is gonna go on the bottom of our card, I did in the Catherine Puller um, Rockin' Red, and I've got all the minis, so that's what I use for that and then that stays wet enough for you to use your versum or for you to use your um, embossing powder on top of that as well so I did that so right now I'm just adding my little mouse now I wanted my mouse to look like he was leaning into the tree up on the stool but wasn't high enough so we had to use a package as well so I'm creating a story with my with my scene and that's what I recommend you do when you're laying things out think about the story that it's telling you want it to tell a story. So mine is, these little meese are too short. And they had to use one of the packages to decorate their tree. And they stuck it up on the stool. I do not recommend this in real life by any means. But, you know. My one mouse I colored in warm grays. I just used two warm grays. I think the W and the 1. And then I used the same color for my mouse as I did for my tree stump. The bottom of my tree. And then I did all my bobbles and packages in red. So I kept all my colors pretty much to the same. So there's no craziness going on with the colors. The sentiment I added up on the top just to give us a, a base somewhere where everything was standing. And then I wanted to use the rest of those little red bobbles um, as 
a little decoration coming down from our sentiment. So I'm going to use those as a staggered underneath and that's going to look super cute. And then all of those little light bulbs I colored will be going on the second card because when I make a card, I always make two. If you're going to make one, you might as well make two. You got everything out. You've already done it, right? So I always make two cards. The second one will be pretty much the same scene, but reversed. And it will have light bulbs instead of bubbles. And that way I have two cards to send out at Christmas, you know? makes it kind of fun and you've done them both at the same time i'm using arc glitter glue to glue everything down and then um this wax pencil that i use to pick up cardstock beads sequins jewels everything little pieces of paper everything i use my wax stick which is so cheap on amazon i'll link it if i can find it so cheap on amazon it, and it works better than any other tool, pickup tool I've ever had. I love these wax pencils. When they get dull, you can just rub them up against something. Or if you want a sharper point, you sharpen them like you do a pencil. Love them. And they're cheap. Super, super cheap. And I like that you can get so many of them at one time that I can have them strewn around and still find them. I lost my bone folder, guys. During all this de-stash, lost them. So the Merry and Bright, um, I skipped over that, but the Merry and Bright, I took another piece of the Lawn Fawn red paper, backed it and set it on the bottom, leaving just a little green peeking through. So it looks like the card is coming all the way down. I used my Spectrum Nor Sparkle Pen to add some sparkle to the bobbles, as well as the bows, and of course that star on the top of the tree. And then I'm going to take some um oh i'm going to use the black gel pen for their little noses i didn't color in their little eyes because it's so small and they're little little circles like right I didn't color in the eyes and then i'm going to take some diamond stickles right the diamond stickles to put along that package that had the big ribbon on it because i thought that would look like a santa package i thought that would be super cute and add a little more sparkle and then I'm gonna take the um, Nouveau crystal drops yeah and I'm gonna add that to all the bobbles and the star and then when it dries it'll have a little dimension it'll have super shine as well as some sparkle because you'll still be able to see the sparkle underneath the spec underneath the Nouveau drops where I put this the spectrum nor sparkle pen and so that concludes the car the card i'm going to add the pictures right here at the end i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next video bye